Hi and welcome! In this video we will show you how to make an audio recording and how to get a good result using voice recording. In Scorecloud for Windows and Mac you can choose between voice recording and instrument recording. Voice recording can pick up one note at a time. This is the best option for solo vocals and monophonic instruments for example a flute or a saxophone. It can also be used when playing melodies or bass lines, one note at a time, on piano or guitar. Instrument recording can pick up multiple notes played at the same time. Use this option if you are recording something polyphonic, such as multiple voices, a piece on a piano, strumming on a guitar, or a combination of instruments. In this video we will use voice recording to create a score by singing. <clears throat> do 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 here is the snippet. You can listen to your recording and notes that were identified. I will use the handles on the snippet to crop out the first note that were not a part of the song. And then I will click on the analyze button. And here is your song. So using the audio recording feature in Scorecloud is a simple way of turning your music into a song. Here are some tips that will improve the recording result and speed up your process. Scorecloud doesn't know any songs. It attempts to analyze the musical structure like someone who has never heard a song or the musical style before. Singing and playing clearly generally gives better results. Sing with syllables like la, di, da instead of lyrics. With clear tone starts and articulation, Scorecloud will interpret the recording much easier. You can get better results if the music is performed with a steady pulse and a slower tempo. Go straight for the pitch and avoid ornaments or wailing. Make a long enough recording. If the recording is too short, Scorecloud may not have enough data to interpret. Scorecloud doesn't know what your foot is tapping. So if you are singing something that needs an accompaniment to make sense, your result can be pretty abstract. In this case, you can record it to a click track or use the tap beat function to help the program understand the pulse. Reduce background noise. People speaking, loud traffic and TVs, anything that is picked up by the mic while recording can affect the result in a negative way. We recommend turning off noise reduction on your computer. In our tutorial video, Audio Setup, we show you how to do this. Try another mic position or setup. Listen to your audio recording and try to move closer to your mic or adjust your position. If you are recording using an internal laptop mic, check where on your computer your microphone is located. If your analysis doesn't turn out like you wanted, you can also edit your song. So please check out our other tutorials for that. We hope that these tips are helpful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.